Hello Capricorn and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your fortnightly reading for January the 16th through to the 31st. So we're still in Capricorn season and then moving into Aquarius season. So happy birthday to all you beautiful Capricorns who are celebrating a birthday at this time. We've got Cup 6, Neptune, Scorpio and Sword Princess, Air Palace. <laughs> George is like, yes, an idea is about to return to you. Something that you've thought about in the past or thought about doing in the past uh, and now it's coming back to be looked at. Uh, so interesting with Mercury in retro, uh, in um, Aquarius and is going retrograde throughout this period. Yes, there's something from the past with that Neptune Scorpio energy. What I will just say with that, with the Neptune Scorpio, is it something perhaps that uh, could have run deep with you. Uh, this could be someone from the past coming back, an air sign as well. But it could also be something with the Neptune energy that can blur boundaries. So I would just be aware of that, of what's going on with that. Uh, and it could also be we've got Cut Prince Pisces Chariot. So you've got the prince and the princess right ne next to each other. So with all this Pisces and Neptune energy, uh, I do feel like there's a lot of uh, messages coming to you that you're working on, messages inside your mind, messages in your heart. And it, it can be to do with things <sighs> that you – I keep getting the words, you can't quite put your finger on it. Can't quite put your finger on it yet. It's an idea that's formulating or a feeling that's formulating and, and gathering momentum. Could be associated with forgiveness for some of you, not necessarily all of you, but there's something like a deep stirring here that's occurring is what I'm getting. There's a deep stirring and it's like you just feeling that first initial, you know, feeling of it. It's it's kind of a, a rumbling, like there's a sense that you're going to be wanting to do something, but you don't know exactly what it is right now. So let's see what's uh, what's coming in. Let's see. So with Neptune and Pisces coming in, it's very uh, it can bring in. It can be highly mystical and intuitive, but it could also, like I said, it can bring in. Uh, disillusionment or it can bring in uh, loss of boundaries like we said it might be about trying to rest here we've got the page of swords okay so you've got the sword princess again and this is a there's a sense that there's a message coming to you an idea coming to your mind um so there's new ideas or information coming in. So be open to that. Crossed by the Four of Cups. So maybe you're not emotionally open to it at this moment in time. The Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so Independence. The Three of Swords, yeah. So I feel like this is perhaps something or someone that's hurt you. The Emperor. Someone that had some kind of authority, like an authority figure of some sort, uh, or that they had an authority over your heart. Uh, it's somebody, it's an energy that perhaps has ruled your heart. So it doesn't have to necessarily be somebody else, but yeah, interesting energy. The Knight of Wands coming in. So, uh, yep. And the Five of Pentacles in the near future. Ace of Wands is this year. You're like, yep, I'm taking this on. Uh, the Two of Pentacles, something's kind of, there's, it's the art of finding the balance within the situation. The Magician coming in. So you're wanting to kind of formulate some kind of plan around this. It might be actually really hard with this Neptune and Pisces energy here to kind of, like I said, put your finger on something. And you've got the strength card coming in. So you are gathering in strength here, um, gathering your courage, gather, gathering your resilience uh, to do something. Ooh, and you're going to know what that is. It's going to be, wow, the tower energy. Okay. Gosh. Okay, there, there's a deep rumbling, like there's a, a storm brewing here. And when it hits like this, it might hit unexpectedly, uh, but it can just be this flash of, okay, now I know, now I understand. Now something can never be how it used to be, or now I understand it. And my belief around that is very different. Once you know something, you know something. So there's an a interesting energy with the tower energy because it's like uh, with the page of swords, um, there is 
it's like I said, it's this sense of uh, something being cracked open inside of you. Something's rumbling and then it goes and it just gets cracked open. It's like, whoa, okay, what was that? And uh, expect the unexpected, but it actually shifts. It creates a big, big shift here with something, that, like I said, something murky from the past or some sort of something you can't quite put your finger on that's a trip down memory lane that you could never kind of quite fully understand. So the understanding is actually coming and that it actually, yeah, is a really, really positive shift here, Capricorn, from something uh, yeah, interesting. It's very interesting energy. The Page of Swords crossed by the Four of Cups. So the Page of Swords is um, very much the open-minded energy of formulating new ideas, getting more information, news coming. So there might be news coming in. With the Four of Cups kind of just... Um, it might just feel like it's kind of like, well, that... The, the Four of Cups is an energy of feeling emotionally stuck or feeling bored. It's kind of like maybe there's a restless or listless kind of energy. Uh, so it's kind of like you're waiting for, you've got an expectation of what this is. There's something that you're waiting for to be offered to you or some kind of news that's coming through here. And yes, you, I feel like what you think it's going to be is something very different to what it's going to be, but not necessarily in a bad way. So yeah, the Page of Swords is definitely, um, it's interesting with that Four of Cups energy because whatever's coming through, it's like, you're not really sure if you want it at this stage, uh, whatever's coming in. So that's, there's a lot of confusion around it. That's the thing. So whether it's to do with the timing of it or whether it's like, oh, that's not exactly what I was expecting uh, or I'm bored waiting. You know, there, there's, whenever Neptune comes in, it just, <laughs> It just brings a whole Neptune's in Pisces at the moment. You've got Pisces next to it. So it's it's a confusing an issue here for you, Capricorn, I would say. Uh, so that's kind of um, interesting. You've got in your conscious mind the Nine of Pentacles. So this is uh, independence. This is wanting, happy to be in your own skin, maybe happy to be on your own or happy to be pretty independent, um, doing things on your own terms. It can also be feeling like... Uh, you know, this, it can be financial freedom and independence. Now in your conscious mind, this might be something that you're wanting to bring in. So uh, this is, you know, the nine of pentacles might be that you're wanting a little bit more money coming through. Uh, so that actually might be something that you're kind of uh, formulating here. It's it's a vague form formulation. And it, I think that would be frustrating energy for you, Capricorn, because I think you kind of want everything to be in place or you can at least see it. I, I don't I don't think the uncertainty or the confusion or the vagueness of this is actually going to necessarily help you at this stage. So deep down the Three of Swords and the Emperor, I think it's um, triggering some kind of wound here uh, to do with success or to do with feeling in control. <laughs> uh, so it definitely does feel like it's a sense of, you know, yeah, I... Yeah, that's kind of what I'm getting with this, the Three of Swords and the Emperor. It could be that there's someone around you that's actually hurting you at this moment in time, someone very powerful. Uh, so this could be an Aries energy uh, or somebody that has that kind of authority of knowing what it is that they want. Sorry, Capricorn, bit of a croaky old throat. But, yeah, this actually might be the wound is I don't know what I want here. And normally you do, normally you would. So the fact there's a lack of clarity is actually uh, a little bit annoying and frustrating, I would say, with this, with this Three of Swords and the Emperor. I like the Emperor being there, though, because it's showing that there's like a sense of wanting to break through the clouds and wanting to make something a concrete reality. It's like wanting to take action. Uh, so... But so I feel like there's a, sort of like a mounting frustration with this uh, as well. And the emperor could be that there's some sort of red tape that uh, you're waiting for news on or some kind of um, rule or regulation that is kind of, for whatever reason, has held you up. So there's a, the, it's interesting whenever Neptune comes in and 
this sort of Neptunian energy within a reading, it always gives me a gazillion different options. It could be this, it could be that, it could be this. And I'm like, okay, Neptune, which one is that? Neptune never gives you a straight answer in a reading. <laughs> it gives you lots of options. So I'm like, okay, that's what we're going to do. So the Knight of Wands in the recent past, we've got uh, – this is a Sagittarius energy of wanting to move forward positively. Uh, you've probably got this idea you're wanting to move forward, maybe waiting for some kind of news or result or something. And it's a sense that, uh, yeah, there's something uh, just not feeling quite right about it at this moment in time. So, yes, the Knight of Wands is that it's like you're wanting to get something off the ground or you're wanting to, you know, there's the passion and there's the idea around it ready to go and then it kind of hits this kind of block of an energy that just kind of feels like an amoeba and it's like, Ugh. so no one wonder you've got the five of pentacles. I actually think the tower energy is really good here because this it'll just go enough, enough. This is Uranus going enough, Neptune, enough of this kind of uh, – blurriness I just want to show Capricorn really clearly what this is so that's I actually think that that's now that we've kind of gone further into the reading the tower card's actually a really good card so the five of pentacles is coming in and in the near future and this is where you might be looking at uh old forms of income or, or ways of making money that you want to improve that you're wanting to be feeling uh, better about you may be wanting to bring more of that in you're going to be looking at how your money's working for you here I really feel like that's that's happening now it can also be around feelings of rejection as well so it might even just be that you're playing the waiting game and the longer the longer you wait the longer you're feeling like uh, you're just you know, it, you start feeling more and more rejected because it's it's not happening for whatever reason. I get very much the timing of this is you can't even, you know, it feels a little bit out or off or something to do with it. You are the ace of wands, which is what I love because you next to the emperor, it's kind of like, let's do this, let's do this. But the emperor's right next to the wound as well. So it's kind of like, uh, yeah, the ace of wands is like, boom, I, I need to be doing this. I really, really want to be doing this. Maybe it's some sort of new goal or something you've set for yourself. And it's like, you know, with this, the Knight of Wands and the Emperor, it's like off and racing. And then it's like, whoa, where did we end up? So uh, I think just it, this is kind of like you're kind of going for a walk and the skies are all clear and you're like, I want to head over to that lighthouse over there. I know where I'm going. I'm seeing it. And then suddenly this fog comes in and you can't see where you're going. Uh, for, for the moment, the thing with fog is it's temporary. You know, it keeps you in this space where, uh, you have to trust that you're on the right path, even though you can't necessarily see that at this moment in time. So that's kind of, uh, at, but you will <laughs> with the tower. Speaking of lighthouse energies, like a tower kind of energy. So the two of pentacles, you kind of, um, it's a bit delicate balancing act. You act, you're juggling here, juggling energies to kind of keep things afloat, to keep the balance uh because you could go this way, you could completely freak out, or you could go that way and go, right, I'm doing this. You know, you can go either way. The two of pentacles can be reluctance, ambivalence to be moving forward if you don't know exactly what this is or where you're going. Uh, it can also be an energy of moving because we've got the money here with the pentacles. A lot of pentacles here, um, which is your your earthy, lovely energy coming in here, Capricorn, it can be juggling money around, you know, maybe there's a sense of uh, there's something, there's a deficit in the finances or something's not working. So you're wanting to move money around or you're, you're paying off credit cards from this account, moving it to that account. Uh, however it's working, there's a sense of juggling and playing with money at this moment in time with the two of pentacles. So hopes and fears of the magician, this is like wanting to have the foot, this, this is kind of, I think that this is wanting a plan. You know, this is like, I want to see the resources. I've, I know I've got everything in front of me, uh, but there's a part of you that's like, I don't know if I do because I can't see I'm in a fog at this moment in time. And the magician's almost like, I am going to will this into creation. I'm going to get to where I want to get to or make or do whatever it is that I want to do. And it's kind of... Uh, yeah, it, it's really trying to gather that internal strength, that will to actually get through whatever this is that you've come up against, which is kind of um, interesting, different energy. It's it's like it's hard to work with because you don't know exactly like how do you 
work with fog? How do you move fog? What sort of lights, you know, it, it's kind of like, what, what do you do with that? But, you know, this is where you've found, you're finding your strength here with the eight of wands and seeing very clearly, I think news comes in and it shifts the direction or there's very clear communication that comes through and you've found your strength at this point. You've found your courage to to choose which direction you're going to go in with this. And so I feel like there's a moment of, and, and there's a moment of clarity and focus. So it's like, bro, I've decided this is where we're going. This is what we're doing and very, very focused moving forward. And uh, yeah, it is you don't want to get distracted by anything. So it's a it's a strong move. It's a bold move and it's a confident move that you're, you're making here. <laughs> I like it, Capricorn. Uh, and it's coming from a place where you had to really go, uh, have to deal with a whole heap of unknowns to make this decision. And but yeah, it's it's a very strong one, I would say. And so we've got the tower card as the overall energy. And it's kind of interesting because the tower card can represent just letting go and surrendering. You know, there's something that perhaps wasn't right for you or the direction that you initially chose wasn't quite right. So this energy of Mercury retrograde is going back over the past, over something that um, occurred in the past or some sort of idea of the past or even a relationship of the past that um, something that hurts you perhaps. And so it's going over revisit, revisiting, revising, reevaluating and seeing that the path that was taken or even the path that you're on at this moment in time uh, is not, it, it just needs a bit of evaluation. So anything that's not right about that, the tower comes in and goes boom, 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 that wasn't right for you anyway. You know, you, we don't want you to be going to the lighthouse where there's a much nicer, interesting view over here and we want you over uh, looking at this castle here. So next minute you've decided, okay, I'm following the left path because I can see a little bit on that path and it, it takes you to the castle, if that makes any sense. And the universe is like, that's where we wanted you to get to in the first place. But you had to go back and revise the map and look and rework where you were going. So the tower energy will do that. It will bring in that flash of insight as well, where you can see very clearly and there's a knowing and, uh, it could be that something has been a shock to the system as well, uh, but it shows you very clearly how to move forward. So once all the dust settles and the boom of the the, the tower, whatever it pulled apart that wasn't right for you, uh, shows you where you are and what's landed, it's kind of like, okay, I'm heading this way. Even if you have to walk over rubble, even if things are falling apart, it's like, Yep, I can see where I'm going now. So that's kind of, uh, yeah, it's a, it's an interesting process that's coming through here for you, Capricorn, but you do see, you get the answer, the solution, and you see, you see the light at the end of the tunnel, tunnel, so to speak. So, and I feel like it's going to feel so much better because it's kind of like, okay, there's this inner resolve, this inner resilience and strength that's coming with this and it does require courage and maybe you perhaps wouldn't have chosen this path before or even seen this path before if you hadn't come across this energy of going back over something and going through this kind of uncertain, kind of murky, blurred boundary energy. So, yes, interesting. It says, life is simple and easy. <laughs> this is the affirmation card. All that I need to know at any given moment is revealed to me. The tower card is revealed to you. I trust life I trust myself and I trust life. All is well. So that's it. When you're at that moment where you're stuck in the fog and you don't know where, which way to go with this or what is truth or reality, uh, the universe will give you those signs and sin signals. It will give you what you need to know in that moment to move forward and to make it easier. So that is the <laughs> that is the the good news coming through with this. There, it feels like there's a little bit of um, the universe is on your side. So. Let's pull a charm to finish this one off. <laughs> okay, we have the navigation wheel. It's kind of funny because it's all about the direction that you're going in. Who is the master of the ship? Uh, you know, it, we're all talking about, you know, mapping and navigation and all that sort of, that sort of stuff. Definitely saying, uh, yeah, trust, trust that. Trust uh, that you are the master of the ship in the direction that you're going. 
and that if you do need to make a few different adjustments to, to things, to ideas, plans or understandings that are coming in, especially something that you're going back over again, uh, and it could have been something that, uh, yes, on an emotional level as well, but something to do with that emotionally affected you to do with money as well. Uh, you ha trust that you can navigate your way through this. So, yeah, and I think the tower is going to show you very very clearly that even though there's it may feel like you're lost it's saying in certain areas or a certain part or you don't know you know it feels like you're going backwards it, it is very much saying you are moving forwards uh sometimes you have to take two steps back to move forwards and yes you're the master of your own destiny here <laughs> even though it might not feel like it so Yes, that, that's the reading, Capricorn. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to take it over to the extended reading now. We're going to see what's coming in after you kind of decide what path to go down here. You know, there's a very clear shift of direction. There's a very clear new focus that comes in. And let's go see what, let's go explore that further into the future. Uh, so that's going to be an extended reading. We're also going to focus in on career, money, love and relationships in those three particular areas, as well as any other intuitive messages that you need to hear. So it's all in the extended reading. Would love it if you come over. The link is in the description box below. And also I'll pin it to the comments, but please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment because that lets YouTube know that you support the channel and helps with the growth of the channel. And take care, Capricorn. Enjoy the rest of your beautiful birthday season. And yeah, look forward to seeing you next time.